E equals H squared over 8B times bracket L squared over A squared plus M squared over B squared plus N squared over C squared. And we need to solve this for B. B only occurs here, doesn't it, in the whole thing? So we need to unwrap it so that we get M squared over B squared. And then it should be easy to do, shouldn't it? So let's move this up here from divide to times and this down. And then we can unwrap this outer bracket first of all. So, so 8BE times DE, then from divide to times, move the 8 squared from times to divide, is equal to, now we've just got these three terms, which we can write as L squared over A squared plus M squared over B squared plus um, N squared over C squared. There we go. Now we are all interested in this, so move these two terms, this one and this one, over the other side. And read from right to left then. So, what have we got then? We've got m squared over the b squared is equal to this 8be. I'm reading from right to left. 8be over h squared minus this term. L squared over A squared minus this term, N squared over C squared. Okay, so we're nearly there. Um, we could invert it. Yeah, I suppose we can flip the fraction upside down, couldn't we? But that would be one over that, wouldn't it? Which doesn't look very nice. But in all honesty, that's, that's what we'll do. So let's just turn this fraction upside down. And that will be this fraction inverted, which will be one over this fraction. So we've got 8BE then over H squared minus the R squared over the A squared minus the N squared over the C squared. Close the bracket. Now it's just a matter of moving the M up. And we've got B squared. So let's turn our attention to that then. So B squared equals then. The M squared moves from divided times all over 8BE over the h squared minus the l squared over a squared minus the n squared over the c squared. There we go, that's b squared. And then we can just square root it. So square root both sides then. Gives b on the left equals the square root of the whole thing. m squared on the top over 8be over h squared over h squared minus the L squared over A squared, minus the N squared over C squared. There we go. There we go, there's B. Plus or minus when we square root, of course. 